Where are you going? Oh, I'm meeting up with someone from my Grinder app. Isn't that for anonymous gay hookups? No, no, no. This one's a way for guys who enjoy sandwiches to connect. You meatball freak? Uh-huh. All right, let's do this. Are you also married? Ah, cool. Somebody put Billy Joel in a jukebox. Billy Joel? This is Daft Punk. Daft Punk? I, what, what is that? What, what, that? That's not even words. What are you saying? This is Billy Joel. It's Anthony's song, parentheses, moving out. First of all, it's moving out, parentheses, Anthony's song. And second of all, this is 100% not Billy Joel. You know, when they recorded moving out, someone left the studio doors open, and that's why at the end you hear that car sound. That's not true either. No, this is it. He's talking about going all around the world because this Anthony fella, he's moving out, you know, to live with Mr. Cacciatore down on Mulberry Street. And that's all I'm going to say about those two. Peter, I'm going to punch you with this beer mug till I'm holding just the handle. Guys, calm down. There's one way to solve this. I'll just use my phone. It says Around the World by Daft Punk. Thank you. God, you idiots are exhausting. Hey, Cleveland, how'd you do that with your phone? I'm not an idiot. I use Shazam. It recognizes songs and tells you their names. Yeah? Hey, what if I fired it into it? I don't know. Be my guest. <laughs> It says Lana Del Rey. Wow, how do I get this on my phone? You just download it. It's an app. What's an app? They're little programs you use on your phone while driving. Oh, man, apps sound awesome. This is a real game changer. Like the guy who invented wearing a sport jacket with jeans. So, what can I do for you? Well, I've got to go to church, but I don't have time to change from the rodeo. Excuse me, I thought you were helping me find a look that'll let me cling to my youth in my 40s. Yes, I'm interested in cheating on my wife in Las Vegas. Gentlemen, I think I can help all three of you. Holy moly, Marcy Miller. She bought feminine products at my dad's pharmacy, so you know she's up and running. Yeah, I wish I had the guts to talk to her. Talk to her? Chris, no one talks to each other anymore. If you want to get a girl's attention, you text her a picture of your penis. What? Really? Are, are you sure? Oh, yeah. People who send their daughters to public high schools are basically asking for this. Well, I did just get this new phone from my dad. All right. What could go wrong? It worked out great for... Thank you for coming, Mr. and Mrs. Griffin. We've got a bit of a situation, which is why I've asked Officer Swanson to join us. It appears Chris sent an inappropriate photo of himself to one of his classmates. That's right. He texted a picture of his peenie. Oh, my God. And apparently the girl... Oh, thank God. ...he sent it to doesn't like him back, so she turned him in. Okay, I can see everybody's mad, but... What'd you think? Thank you for bringing this to our attention, Principal Shepard. We'll make sure Chris apologizes to that little knob tease. I'm sorry, Lois, but it's not that simple. When Chris sent that picture, he was technically distributing child pornography. Child pornography? Joe, that's crazy. He's just a teenager who made a bad choice. I don't know what to say, but the laws just haven't caught up to how cool kids are now. I'm sorry, but this makes Chris a sex offender. Oh, my God. Huh. Well, I'm not about to make a Batman exit right now, but has that thing always been over there? Over where? What are you doing, Peter? Ah, you look back too fast. Brian, I'm in a bind. Joanne was supposed to drive me to the club, but she's having throat surgery. Twenty years of menthol slims. I don't understand anything you just said. Just drive me to the racket club. Since when do you belong to a racket club? You know, I do have a life outside this house. For example, I also write restaurant reviews for the newspaper under the name Hugh Cornwallis. Hugh Cornwallis? He's like... Super bitchy, I know. Now, come on, let's go. So what, you gonna play tennis all day? No, I might also hit the treadmill and watch Kelly and Michael on mute with closed captioning. Kelly, it's like kale is everywhere these days, am I right? Michael, unintelligible. I love them. They have such an amazing chemistry. 